Hey everybody, Chris from Nightmare Collective here. It's time to talk about one of my favorite Halloween movies. Oh, so good. Anyway, grab your pumpkin, grab your carving knives, and don't worry, I'll help you with the eyes. Let's get into it. Take it. What the fuck? Fucking kids. Another one? This is why I hate Halloween. Hey man, I was just kidding, I love Halloween. This is not real, but it would be cool if it was, right? You know, I didn't get to use this in my intro, and because I had a prop budget, and I used my prop budget, I wanted to use this, damn it, so I did. <laughs> but I, uh, I guess I can't, you know, use them anymore, you know, it's over. Maybe I'll just watch Trick or Treat in my vampire mask. You know, you can't see in that Sam mask, I found that out the hard way when filming my intro, but anyway. I'm Chris, welcome to another episode of Nightmare Flashbacks. We're gonna be diving in to Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is probably my second favorite movie to watch on Halloween next to the original Halloween. So I'm not gonna talk about Halloween anymore because that is clearly a subject that people are very sensitive about. So we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> Check out my Halloween ends review. Let's get into Trick or Treat. So I love Trick or Treat. I love Michael Dowdery. He was our writer director who also directed Krampus and Urban Legend Bloody Mary, if you didn't know that. It's a fine movie. You know, those Urban Legend movies, pretty fun. I saw Chris Stuckman just uh, reviewed, I think the first two, um, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I, I love 2000s, 90s, 2000s movies just as much as the next person. I was a teenager during that time, so it's like right up my alley. Obviously I was watching stuff from the 80s, but I love stuff from the 90s, so that was right up my alley. Maybe one day, I'll uh, stick my head into a meat grinder and cover all the Hellraiser movies and cover all the Urban Legend movies. But until that day, my favorite story is the School Bus Massacre. That is my favorite one. I love the kids and like the distress of like the bus driver and him being convinced to like murder these kids. But then the kids like wrong way, wrong way, motherfucker, and then drives them into the damn quarry. So they all burn up and then drown. Shit's crazy, you know? And then how that like intersects with the ending and their bus driver and then they come back at the end and they're like, hey, motherfucker, remember? 
You tried to kill us, so now we're gonna kill you. Like, I love that Sam just lets him go. Beats the shit out of him, but he's like, you know what? I think there's something more for you, you know? You think you're gonna get away with it, but you're not. But yeah, I just love the atmosphere of this, man. I love any movie that does Halloween, Halloween-y. You know, like Halloween does that sometimes. You don't get that all the time. You know, you get a season of which is very, uh, God, it's on Halloween leading up to that day, which I love that movie as well. But any movie that can kind of simulate that Halloween season, I fucking love. It's all great. It's my favorite time of year. Like filming that yesterday was just so fun because like, I got a big yard and I got a bunch of leaves in there, you know? I'm not raking that shit. It's just gonna stay there because it looks cool. It's aesthetic. It's Halloween. I got to buy some pumpkins. First time I've done that in years, you know? I don't have kids or anything. So for me, like Halloween is always a weird thing. And I usually work Halloween, to be honest. You know, this year I'm not. I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna watch a bunch of Halloween movies on Halloween, damn it. I'm gonna do it. This channel has driven me to do that. But yeah, I just, I love everything about this, man. Every story kind of intersects. Uh, you get an early Anna Paquin in here, which is great. She's a werewolf, then she's a vampire. Maybe she'll be a werewolf again. <laughs> but um, I do hope, I know that he said, Michael said that they're in active development for Trick or Treat 2, which is awesome. Um, it's probably because he's like, hey man, I had to go make that Godzilla movie. You can let me make a Trick or Treat 2. You know, Tim Burton did that shit. I want to do it. You know, if you don't know, Tim Burton made Alice in Wonderland only so he could make Frank and Winnie. Because they were like, you want to make a black and white stop animation movie about a zombie dog? No. But hey, if you make this Alice in Wonderland movie and it makes a billion dollars, by all means, make whatever the fuck you want. So I'm hoping that that was the case here, is that they're like, hey, you go make this big blockbuster Godzilla movie and we'll let you make whatever the fuck you want. And uh, so hopefully that turns into Trick or Treat 2. I mean, I know they've said that, but until there is a trailer and my ass is in the seat in the theater watching that movie, it's going to be hard for me to believe that. I'm excited. But my optimism is reserved. I'm reserving that. I don't like to get super excited about things anymore because I'm often less down. Often let down. I need to learn how to speak. Other than that, I mean, I just, I love all the acting. I love all the stories. I love all the aesthetics of this movie. Like I said, that's my favorite. The the werewolf, you know, one is probably my second favorite, but I just like that we get the glimpse of the couple in the beginning and she's like, fuck Halloween. She gets that, she gets, you know, a lollipop shoved into her mouth. You know, that guy should have just gotten divorced anyway. What bitch doesn't like Halloween? You know what I'm saying? What person, you know, he married her and she's just throwing shit down. She begrudgingly went to this party, man. I don't know what's wrong with him. You know, he got done dirty by her. You know, he, she's like, you know what? I'm glad you're dead because I set all this shit up and you just tore it all down. But anyway, and that leads us into, you know, like the foray of the movie. And I just, everything after that, it's great. It is a perfect movie for me. Whenever I think about perfect movies in horror like that 1978 halloween the thing there's a lot of these that i just like i can sit down and i can watch them and even though i've seen them so many times i just i don't have any problems there's just such a joy in sitting down and watching trick or treat and i was lucky enough this year to see it in a theater so i was excited about that and i got to see it and so like seeing a movie that was relegated to home video pretty much other than like the film circuit that it went around in the early stages in 2007 i didn't watch it until 2009 when it came out um on dvd and then obviously went to blu-ray uh screen factory did do their like 2018 like collector's edition thing that's out of print and i didn't get that and now it's like a hundred dollars i'm just waiting for them to do a 4k like steelbook thing and you know i'm hoping with it being in the zeitgeist now kind of back in the mainstream with the second one maybe they'll do that on the precipice of the second one and I'll get to actually buy a copy because, dude, $100, man, I would love to pay that. But, uh, I mean, I just have to stick with my original Blu-ray, you know, or renting it, watching it digitally, which I hate doing, um, or maybe even watching the DVD. You know, maybe I'll rip the Blu-ray onto a VHS and then watch the VHS and we'll go real old school. But anyway, let's keep it going. And I just, man, I just love trick-or-treat so much <laughs> i really do it's it's just so good you know everything about it's good it was so well thought out as an anthology you know like i love creep show and i love some of these other anthologies like vhs and some of those but man this just does it so right everything is interconnected so well when you're in that big parade of people you know you see the couple from the beginning you've got the vampires the principal then you got the werewolves in there picking stuff out in the costume shop there's just so much shit that is interweaved that the more you watch this movie, the better it gets because you pick out 
you know, little things. Even the other night when I was watching it, like again, other than the theater, when I was watching it, I was like, oh man, I didn't even see that before. I've seen this movie like 30 times, mind you, like 30 times. So I, I love when movies have so much in them that you can kind of like pick them apart and find new things every time you watch it. But I mean, other than the school bus massacre and the werewolves, I love the principal. I love that that story kind of interconnects between a lot of them. Eyes, man. Like, you know, that's a traumatic kid, man. Not only is his dad like burying shit, you can tell his dad's kind of annoyed with him a little bit. And did he kill his mom? I'm assuming maybe he did, you know? Um, but uh, anyway, so he's going down there. You think he's going to carve a pumpkin. He's annoyed because he wants to carve a pumpkin. Then you get down there, motherfucker's carving eyes in a kid. You're like, holy shit. Is the, you know, I mean, that kid deserved it. He was fucking throwing pumpkins. So either him or Sam would have gotten him. But uh, the principal gets his comeuppance in the beginning. Uh, sorry, at the end with the werewolf. So it all works out. Comment down below. What is your favorite movie to watch on Halloween? Or if it's trick or treat, just hit the thumbs up button. We can all be... Thumbs up, buddies, you know? So uh, if you like Trick or Treat, just hit that thumbs up. Well, you know, I'll, it'll let me know kind of how many people like Trick or Treat. And uh, that's all I got. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching my Nightmare Flashbacks. I hope you enjoyed my intro. I don't want to do those too often because I just don't want them to get stale. You know, I know they're kind of silly. They're fun for me to do, but like I said, I don't want to make every video have what is elaborate intros, you know? Uh, it's a lot of work, but I do enjoy doing them. But I felt like, for this in my Halloween special, I felt like it was worth it to do. So I hope you enjoyed it. Another thing before we go, if you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you. And I really appreciate everything you or the people that supported me the last two months. It means a lot to me. I recently hit over 200, some number. I don't look at it every day. I try not to like microanalyze myself. But anyway, we're over like almost at like 220 or something like that. And so I never thought two months ago that I would be where I'm at. It's crazy to think, you know, and I'm hoping that we, I can continue because the more I get to do, the more subscribers I have, the, the more kind of influx of support I can get, then the more I can do. And maybe that one day that leads me to doing this full time. Maybe it doesn't, but I'm still going to do it. I love doing it. A couple months ago, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, and that's what led me to kind of like bite the bullet and just do it. And so I have strived the last two months to make every video better than the last one. I mean, there's been some ups and downs. There's videos I'm like, ah, I could have done better. But at the end of the day, I just love doing this, and I hope that you enjoy watching it. If you made it this far, I'm assuming that you do. But again, I just want to say thank you. And I really do genuinely appreciate everything that everybody has done here and on Twitter. It's just been very welcoming. And that's a rare thing to find these days, especially like on YouTube. And so it's just like, that's kind of what I want to build. I just want to build a collective of people that genuinely like horror, aren't shitty to each other, and we can all respect each other's opinions. And I know that's difficult. I've already seen some of it kind of weave its way into my channel the larger it gets. But, you know, hey, you're going to have shitholes. Shitholes. <laughs> you're going to have shitheads everywhere. So I'm, I'm used to that. It doesn't bother me. But thank you again. And if you're still here and you like what I do and you haven't joined the collective, consider becoming part of us. You know, it's, it's a fun place to be. So that's all I got. Until next time, don't forget, some doors should never be opened.